Welcome back to Tim's Trading Tools. Today I'm going to talk to you about my private EA settings. This is uh, an EA that I developed to go with the trading calculator. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you have your EA installed, you'll see that uh, you should be using version 1.13. And you're going to go over here, do a right click on your mouse, go to Expert Advisors and Properties. Okay. To start with, you're going to see where it shows a place for a magic number. The only time that this is important is if you're going to use this on more than one currency. Let's say you're going to set up two or three trades and you want to just walk away from that trade. Uh, once you set that up, uh, if you are going to do that, you need to have a different magic number. Those can be any numbers that you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, just for the sake of this demonstration, put 111. Okay. Next, obviously, you can put in here. Uh, your lot size, what size you want to uh, enter in. I'm going to leave that at a, at a 1.0. Your trading hours, this is what's important here. This is what's different than any other EA because our system works off of time entries. You would put here again what you want, uh, what time you want this order to uh, start. Okay, so for instance, if we were going to do uh, the trades that we put out in our signals yesterday, for instance, in the EA it was at 14.15, which is 4.15 in the morning, so you put the hour of 14, the minutes at 15. The GMT offset, you'll have to determine with your platform exactly what that is. For the uh, FXDD Malta, it is actually zero. Okay, there is no offset with, with, with my system there. So you'd have to look and see if you have any offset with your system. The direction. Uh, a 1 is a long position and 0 is a short position. Okay, so let's say that uh, I'm going to go in for a short position, which is going to be 0. Now this is the, the safety feature. You guys have heard me saying that you know the one thing that we need to look for is to go back and look for any out of the ordinary uh, strong activity in the currency, let's say 3 hours before uh, a trade. And you can, you can customize this to be anything that you want. I have it 3 hours. And I want to go back and check. Let's say I want to check to see if there's going to be uh, a movement of 75 pips or greater. It will look back in that time, and if any time during that three-hour period there was a movement one way or another of 75 pips from the starting time of that three hours uh, to the end, end time of when your trade is going to execute, it will stop the trade. Great feature. Okay, and you can choose to use your stop loss if you if you want to in, in that situation. Uh, I'm going to put 45 here. Enter our take profit. Put your take profit. I think our trade yesterday was 15 pips. You can choose to use your, your trailing stops uh, in here if you'd like. You don't need to change anything else. And that's it. It's all set. And uh, you can just click OK. And that trade is ready to go. So. Your EA is now completely set up and ready to go. Let's find out why we have a sad face over here still. Go back to this. That's what I thought. Make sure you click this box and this. All four of these should be clicked. You don't need to confirm DLL function calls. Okay. Make sure all four of those are checked. Click OK and now you can see we have a happy face. We're ready to trade. This trade will execute at 4.15 in the morning, and we'll be ready to go. That's it. Pretty simple. It works. Thanks for coming to timstradingtools.com. Thanks for coming to Tim's Trading Tools. This was our session for private EA settings.